Hey, sneaking in back. Something different today. Yes, a different desktop, isn't it? It's a bit different. Use an Xford cap. This is Razer QT, a QT based desktop environment for your desktop, basically. It's a bit lighter than a KD, of course, but uses the QT stuff, all the QT stuff, and very nice and quick it is too. A little bit different, you can still have widgets and stuff like that. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't work correctly for me. I've got no icons for my folders or anything like that, so I'll be working on that one. You can install it, by the way, as you can see here. This is the site. RegQT04 is out now. Bloody, 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 blah, blah. You can get it through Ubuntu, which I've done here for my 11.10 one I've got on here. I downloaded it. Maybe that's the main reason. Although I've got KDE installed as well as OpenBox and LXDE, I st it still doesn't work correctly for me. But other people have had it working rather good, actually. Yes, rather, 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 rather good. Hmm. So if you want the QT store stuff going down, this could be the one for you. It works really light, and it's really light on resources as well. We know if you're running KD normally, it's like loves your RAM, doesn't it? It's a RAM lover. It wants to marry your RAM. But this one does not. It doesn't want to marry your RAM. It doesn't mean we'll go out of you. It just wants to work for you. So if this is the sort of thing for you, you want something different, just for a change even, you can install it and play around with it. Now, as I said before, unfortunately for me, it doesn't work correctly for me. But for everybody else who seems to have used it, it works fine. Now, as you can see, my CPU is going 10 so dozen on this old machine here. It's not only an old dual core because I'm using XFID cap and that records directly and encodes at the same time. Normally, my RAM usage is around about 121 using Razer. That's a lot, 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 lot different, isn't it? Now, also, I've found if you use OpenBox as a backup there, it normally works a lot quicker as well. So yeah, that's another one too. So yeah, it's another play around, based from Russia, I think, basically, from Russia, or Russia, or we would call it, and you can install it and have a good play with it. And I just wanted to give you a little look around, you know, I'm going around it now, and show you basically what it looks like. Now, as I said before, it's really easy to install. Why don't you all go and give it a go? Because, you know, it gives you something to do for a start, won't it? Here's a session configuration and your term information, what your web browser you want to use, auto start, stuff you want to start correctly, the environment, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, this is not all correct here for me because I've got it on top of Ubuntu 11.10 here. So that's probably one of the main reasons it doesn't work correctly for me. Obviously, if I had it on top of LXDE or KDE, I might have had a better experience. But unfortunately for me, I did not. But I just wanted to give you a quick look and show you what it looks like. Everything works rather nice with it, don't get me wrong, it works super fine and everything like that. Yep. Everything comes up in the menu and stuff like that, all the stuff's here. You only get to do two terminals though, which is not good for me, I don't really like them ones. But everything else on the other hand does work. Unfortunately, if you want to use a desktop recorder, you, you don't get the icon for our Exford cap or anything or record my desktop to come up. So you can't actually use them in it, although if you're using KD back, you may be able to get it done for you. Anyway, I just want to show you that, it's really nice, sneaky. Linux at. I'll see you later. Bye, 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 bye.